History Deck tutorial will walk you through the basics of using LaunchCast Internet Radio inside of Street Deck. Internet Radio in Street Deck works through the Yahoo Music Engine, which is a separate program we need to install before trying to use Internet Radio in Street Deck. If we try to use Internet Radio before Yahoo Music Engine is installed, we will be given an error message and a link to where to download the Yahoo Music Engine from. We can also click the download YMJ button, which will launch Internet Explorer with the link to the Yahoo Music Engine download. After launching the link, find the install button, click it, and follow the on-screen instructions to install Yahoo Music Engine. After the install has completed, the next thing to do is to sign into the Yahoo Music Engine using an existing Yahoo account or create a new one. If you don't have a keyboard hooked up to the computer in your car, you can just create the account on your home PC and then use Street Deck later to sign in. Once you have created your account, you should then select LaunchCast Radio from the list on the left and then choose My Station to begin playing your customized radio station through LaunchCast Music Engine. Once you have confirmed your station works, you are ready to begin using Street Deck again. Clicking on the Internet Radio button in Street Deck, we should no longer have an error message. We can now sign in using our Yahoo Music ID and password. IDs and passwords should only contain numbers and letters. The username is case insensitive. The password can contain both capitals and lowercase letters. When we hit save, it will remember your username and password for the next time you want to use Internet Radio. After waiting a short time for the radio station to buffer, it should start playing and we should hear music from our station. To select a different pre-configured Yahoo Music Station, we just have to go to the station guide and click on any one of the entries. If we press and hold, it will bind that station as a preset, which we can use later to call it up quickly. The station filter will let us filter out and show only the station of a particular type. Notice the station guide now only shows 34 stations of the 300 possible. If we go and select preset, it will show just the station we selected as our favorite. To remove a preset, just click and hold the station again. To play it, just click it once. The next and previous gestures work a bit differently for Yahoo Music Engine. If we use the next gesture, it will go to the next song in our current station that we are listening to. If we use the previous gesture, since you can't go back in Yahoo Music Engine, it actually binds it to the previous preset. So this is actually changing the station, not just the song. So we have gone from preset number three, alternative, now to preset number two, doo-wop. If we click on play artist station, it will continue to play all songs by this artist, or actually artists very similar to the current one. If we want a little more control over what's currently playing, we can always show the current media overlay and change stations using the plus and minus button, which will again go through our presets, changing the station. The next button, like the next gesture, will change the current song on the current station. Finally, the delete button all the way at the right of the overlay will set the track rating to disabled and automatically go to the next song on the current station and begin playing it. Also notice the stars in the current module. These allow Yahoo Music Engine to rate the track, artist, and album to create our personalized music station. Finally, the sign up function should be used if we don't want Street Deck to store our login name and password on this machine. We don't need to sign out just to stop the Yahoo Music Engine, as that will be done automatically when Street Deck closes.